Hi, I'm Lauren and welcome in. These are all today's really fun colours. They're lots of um, rich reds and oranges and yellows. I'll tell you about the colours in detail as we go, I think, but just wanted you to have a quick look. So let's get into today's pour. This is a 12, not 12, this is a 24 inch by 48 inch canvas or 60 centimetres by 120 centimetres. And I'm going to start with my base paint. You can see it makes a puddle and then disappears. This light orange colour is eggshell house paint and then I've tinted it with a homemade orange. It's two parts paint to one part pouring medium and the pouring medium is made up of probably 25 to 30% polyurethane varnish and 70% USA Floetrol. The Bordeaux Red, Artesa's Bordeaux Red, is mixed one part paint to two parts pouring medium. And the pouring medium for this is 70% a USA Floetrol with 30% Golden Gap. There's no varnish in this side. Amsterdam paint mixed one part paint to three parts Aussie Floetrol. All the other Floetrol in the painting is USA Floetrol. Now I have the Indian yellow hue and the burnt orange are slightly blue pore mixed. Nice on this side, I'll be keen to see the other side, which will look a bit different. I want to use the wide spatula again. the other side. So I'm hoping for a lot more white on this side. So I'm just going to do a little bit.
Now, I don't want it to be just straight lines, so I'm gonna actually do some swivel lines like I just did, and kind of joining. So I want it to look like it's rooting down into this, sort of pulling out of it, growing out of it. Remembering that I did the Indian yellow hue and the burnt orange colours with a bit of a different mix in them. I don't know what the ratios were, but I know I put extra deep base in there. I know I put varnish in there, but I also did put flow troll in there. So I do get um, some really cool cells that are almost like you might find in a bloom technique. I just stepped around the other side of the canvas. So you can see on this side where the white is, you get a lot of lacing, which I wanted. And I achieved that, which I'm really happy about. I love it in here. That's really pretty. And then on this side, you get more the cells do come up more. That celly lace look that you do get when you do a bloom pour. But this is not a bloom by any means. And I never meant it to be. I'm really starting to explore different pouring mediums mixing different things together, taking ideas, that seeing things on other people that other people are doing and making it my own. So we'll have a look at it when it's dry. I think it will hang this way. That that's what I think. But we'll wait and see. All right, let's go to dry. Thank you for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this pour. I'll do my best to put all the mixes in down the bottom. 
for the different kinds of paints and don't and I'll see you next time don't hesitate to create bye